Ready for this? I'm ready. I'm, I'm always We're gonna ready talk for, dirty. We're gonna talk really dirty. Yeah. Cleaning the bathroom, that's a dirty job. That's a dirty job. Yeah. Did you know that you might actually forget one important part of the task too? When was the last time you cleaned your bath mat? The Queen of Clean shows us how to make sure there's no bacteria or germs growing there. Take a look. You know, moisture, feet, mold. Ew! I'm talking about your bath mat. There is nothing that is more moist than your bath mat in your bathroom. You step out of the shower, your feet are wet. Now, let's face it, our feet have oil on them. And lots of times, they don't get totally clean when we're in the shower because generally we don't put soap on the bottoms of them. So when you're stepping out, all that moisture, all those germs, all that bacteria is on them. And bath mats lay on the floor, sometimes for months on end, without ever being picked up or washed. So I want to show you a quick way to do it. And believe me, you do need to do it at least every other week, if not every week. Now this is what you're going to do. To disinfect it and to keep the bacteria from growing, we're going to use tea tree oil. You'll take your bath mat, put it in the washing machine as you would normally wash it, whatever your care label says. To that, you'll add about a pint, so two cups of warm water and about 10 drops of tea tree oil. Now, tea tree oil is antibacterial, antimicrobial. Once it is in the clothes and in your bath mats, it will keep them from molding and mildewing. And always just wash it with your favorite laundry detergent, whatever you're using. Now, if they're like this, with this kind of backing on them, you can pitch them right in the dryer with your favorite laundry balls. Now, if you want to make some nice aluminum ones like I have here, you're just going to go to my video that tells you how to make the aluminum foil dryer balls. They're great. They take out the static electricity. They soften. They're fabulous. Then, if you can't use that, like on this backing, you can't put that in the dryer or it'll ruin it. So all you're going to do is hang it and allow it to dry. And you're all set. You're good for another couple of weeks because the tea tree oil is protecting you from all that mold and mildew. So give it a try. I think you'll love it. It's easy and fast to do. It takes no time at all. And I'm telling you, if you haven't smelled tea tree oil, it smells great. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. Thanks, Queenie.